Studies have shown psychedelic mushrooms can treat or even cure depression, and some San Diego moms are turning to it for help. It's called microdosing. It's not legal, but a North County mom admits she does it and it works. CBSA's Shannon Handy shares her story and the local push to decriminalize it. Do you feel safe talking to me? talking in front of our cameras about this. I wouldn't be here if I didn't feel safe. And Michaela, who I asked that we not like use her last name, knows what she's not. doing is illegal. But the North County mom feels so strongly about the benefits of microdosing magic mushrooms, she wants to share her story. It's so necessary for some of us to be out and forward because we need to move the needle. Microdosing involves taking small doses of the psychedelic drug in various homemade forms, including pills, gummies, even chocolate. A teaspoon, depending on how much you would want to put in here. So a dose that would give you like a classic psychedelic effect would be anywhere between a gram to five, six, seven grams. And so a microdose is a fraction of a gram. Michaela started microdosing about three years ago when she was pregnant with her two and a half year old son, Martin. <laughs> Good one. She was struggling with alcoholism and says microdosing helped her stop. I've heard that psilocybin mushrooms can help combat um, addictive behavioral patterns. And so I kind of wanted to approach it head on. Following Martin's birth, Michaela struggled even more, seeing the anxiety and depression she's dealt with for years intensify. She now microdoses on a regular basis. What does it feel like? A glow, you know, an underglow. It makes those emotions to connect with my son and toddler way more readily available. According to Michaela, her relationship with microdosing is unique, saying there are other local moms from all walks of life doing the same. What's leading people to want to dose is actually the desire to be more present in their life. And I think that totally redefines what we think about as a drug user. The stigma behind psychedelics dates back to the 1960s when mushrooms and LSD were labeled as dangerous party drugs that can melt your mind. Then came the war on drugs during the Nixon administration when studies on psychedelics were banned. Decades later, that's all changing as more and more studies are being conducted showing psilocybin, the active compound in magic mushrooms, can help with depression. And even in cancer patients, decreases in both depression and anxiety. Matthew Johnson is the director of the Johns Hopkins Center for Psychedelic and Consciousness Research. While he stands behind the benefits of psilocybin, he cautions the majority of research conducted is related to macrodosing sparingly in controlled environments, not microdosing for long periods of time. It's not that, that we're seeing them like, oh, they're less depressed when they, they continue to take psilocybin. It's like, no, you take psilocybin in two sessions, under monitoring and you're feeling better a week later, a month later, six months later. Contrast that to microdosing, we know almost nothing about microdosing scientifically. Johnson worries if psilocybin is misused, it could be harmful or lead to a so-called bad trip. He says education is crucial. Meanwhile, some question if psilocybin could open the door to drug abuse. Still, Michaela and others are pushing to decriminalize it. Denver was the first city in the United States to do so in 2019, followed by others, including Oakland, Santa Cruz, and Seattle. Now, entire states are jumping on board with Oregon voters already approving a measure to do the same. There's also another bill being pushed forward across the entire state of California called SB 519. Michaela is hopeful, saying if the state doesn't take action, she plans to launch an initiative here in San Diego. For now, she'll continue speaking out about how microdosing has helped her. Being in my body hurt so much. She often posts about it to her combined nearly 200,000 followers on her Instagram and TikTok pages, Mama De La Maiko, which means mother of the mushroom. I had no idea that this level of happiness and contentment in life would be possible before I found the mushroom. Shannon Handy, CBS 8.